This time last year, most people in golf became experts on Tiger Woods' injured knee. This new year, virtually everyone knows something about his private life. While the world's number one is taking indefinite leave, the rest of us are left wondering when, where and even if he'll be making his return in 2010. It's a topic set to dominate the start of the golf year and we're looking at Tiger's options and the road ahead for all concerned. Welcome to Living Golf. For this edition of Living Golf, I'm delighted to say I'm joined in the studio here by the veteran golf writer Bill Elliott, who's watched and met Tiger over the years. Also in the program... I want to play against the best fields in the world in the best tournaments in the world. Later in the show, we speak to Rory McIlroy as he looks forward to a year on the US tour, perhaps with greater hopes now Tiger's position looks vulnerable. Plus, Michelle Wee on coming of age as a player. I just want to show my fans and my country what I, I, what I have. And the tears and triumphs from this year's European Tour qualifying school. You know, at the end of the day, it is just another tournament. It just happens to be a life-changing tournament. There's a sense of deja vu surrounding the 2010 golf season. Twelve months ago, we were waiting for the reappearance of Tiger Woods after knee surgery. This year, he's absent again, but for very different reasons. Now, the US and European tours, other players, their sponsors, the golf media and fans are all hoping the world's best player makes his comeback sooner rather than later. The tabloid revelations that followed Tiger Woods' car crash in November have forever changed the way we view golf's best player. No one is quite sure how long his indefinite break from the game will be. However, most agree Tiger will be back. The, The golf needs him, you know, they need him. And economic times, as bad as they are, us trying to find sponsors for this, all over the world trying to find sponsors for golf tournaments. Without Tiger Woods, it makes it very, very difficult to do that. Woods hasn't played a tournament since the Australian Masters last November, and there's intense speculation about the exact date of his return. It's unlikely to be earlier than the Accenture World Match Play in the third week of February. Woods is far more likely to wait until the year's opening major, the US Masters, in April. Although he could delay his comeback, until June's US Open at Pebble Beach. If Tiger is still absent when Britain's Open Championship takes place in July, there could be real concerns that he'll miss October's Ryder Cup. When he does re-emerge, Woods can expect different treatment from fellow players and fans. He will no longer have that control that he had before. It's kind of, you know, not easy, but easier to go out and play well when you know that everything around me is controlled by me. Tiger's invincible aura on the course was closely linked to his commercial success off it. Despite a mixed reaction from his current sponsors, experts say Woods remains hot property. I don't think he'll have problems attracting new sponsors. There will be different sponsors, maybe slightly more down market than, than, than um, the brands that have been associated with in the past. But nevertheless, um, you know, I, I think he'll still be a, a very attractive proposition when he eventually comes back. So, expect Tiger Woods to continue to make lots of money and to continue to break golf's records. Well, as I said, I'm joined in the studio by Bill Elliott, who's a 30-year veteran involved as a journalist overseeing the golf industry. Uh, Bill, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, Extraordinary times in the golf industry with Tiger's absence for the reasons which we've all uh, seen before. Um, Where is he now? What's he doing? And do you think we'll see him back this year? Um, where is he now? That's the big question for a start, isn't it? I mean, is he in, is he in an, an underground bunker somewhere? It's six weeks now, and no one, no one apart from the Florida Highway Patrol, apparently, have seen Tiger Woods outside his family. Who knows where he is? It's, it's, it's quite extraordinary. When is he going to come back? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he was back playing next month in February. Uh, on the other hand, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see him at all this year. I think the key to that lies with what Mrs Woods decides to do now. I think if Ellen decides that she, she will want to divorce 
Tiger, and she starts to implement that very quickly, then I think Tiger will, is more likely to return to playing golf quickly. If, on the other hand, she decides that she's going to attempt reconciliation with her husband, then I think we may not see Tiger play golf at all this year. You've interviewed Tiger before. Uh, you know his persona from when you interviewed him and when we've all spoken to him. Mm. If he does come back, will we see a very different person, different player? I don't think we'll see a different player, but I, th I hope we'll see a different person. The Tiger that I interviewed, for example, 10, 11 years ago in, in, in the late 90s, uh, was, was when I talked to him, a very charming person, an intelligent young man. Now, he still remains uh, uh, charming when he wants to be, and he certainly remains intelligent, although you might not think so much from his recent, <laughs> recent stories about him. However, be that as may, he has changed over the last decade. He's become more remote. His arrogance has grown. Uh, but not good arrogance. It's, it's become bad arrogance, became bad arrogance. Uh, he has treated lots of people, including golf fans, with a kind of frozen stare or he's just ignored them. Mm -hmm. He hasn't signed autographs, he hasn't done this, he hasn't done that. He has removed himself, detached himself almost, from the public at large and, for what it matters, from us media as well. All right, Bill, that's Tiger. Thanks very much for talking, Tiger. We're going to join you again later in the show and talk a bit more about uh, Rory McIlroy. If, you know, if I, if I can go to an event with, with my best stuff, uh, I know I'll have a great chance to win.